bunch of about 20 people got together around Ballarat and we went out door knocking. The response from the people we got was pretty positive. A lot of people were aware of renewable energies. Uh, we went to Invermay Park, Alfredton, Canadian and Lake Gardens. Actually, we tried to go to harder parts of the electorate, people that are more conservative, to kind of get an even voice and opinion. Well, I've wanted action on renewable energy for a long time and I contacted Breeze and they were running uh, the 100% campaign, which is pretty much um, a community initiated campaign where uh, they contacted all the environmental groups across the country and said, you know, we want to get political action and community action on renewable energies and so I got involved. Breeze is, stands for Ballarat Renewable Energy and Zero Emissions. It's important that we have an option, we have an alternative option to um, using fossil fuels which is utilising sunlight, utilising wind power, utilising the earth's heat and I think well, if there's an option there that doesn't have the consequence of climate change, why don't we embrace it? I think that it will make Ballarat a healthier place. Well, on Saturday we got 120 surveys out of 20 volunteers. Uh, a lot of the thoughts and messages to Catherine King were to act now. We spent a lot of money on defence, for example, and it's to protect our country, protect Australia. So why don't we invest in renewable energies because this is another way that we can protect our country. Christine Milne actually called one of our members at Breeze and said that they'd heard about what we've been doing and that it started to change the way they've been talking about the carbon tax in the uh, discussions over the last two weeks, which is really good. Well, I think we should invest in renewable energy. I, I think they need to change their attitude dramatically towards renewable energy and, and its benefits. Australia wants renewable energy and we see it as something that we, we don't just want to need, we have to have it for our future and it's time that we start investing in renewable energy.